Krista. Jesus is the true light of the world. I'm really happy to see many people here in our church today. People and students that have come to celebrate their families. People from other parishes. I must tell you it has been wonderful liturgies since the beginning of the Holy Week. The choir has worked so hard to make these liturgies wonderful ones for us. I welcome all of you again on this Easter. As we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, Pass through torture. Pass through insults. Pass through humiliations. Sorrow. Passion. Crucifixion. And death on the cross. <laughs> Across the bridge. God raised him. 
and we are proclaiming His greatness. We are here to bear witness to His resurrection. In the Gospel of today, Mary Magdalene was on the way to the grave to anoint the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. But one thing was bothering her. Who will roll away the stone for me? She felt she didn't have the strength to roll away that stone. She said, who will roll away the stone for me? Surprisingly, on getting to the grave, the stone was already rolled away. The stone was already rolled away. Also in our lives, we have heavy stones that might be blocking the coming, the presence, the effect, the power, the light of Jesus Christ in our lives. And we want such stones to be rolled away. Maybe things that have been bothering you for a long time. Maybe things that you have felt that you can't handle anymore. Waking up in the morning instead of thanking God for the wonderful day. Before you know what is happening in your life, tears are rolling down on your cheeks. Have stones in your life to be rolled away. And we are the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Presenting those stones. Stones of sin. Stones of anger. Stones of hatred. Stones of impatience. Stones of little faith. Stones of cursing. Things we don't want in our lives. Those are stones walking in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we want these stones to be rolled away in our lives. Let me quickly bring your attention to the words of the exuded that we heard last night. He said, the power of this holy light dispels all evil, washes guilt away, restores innocence, brings mourners joy, drives away hatred, brings peace, and humbles every crowd. And when Peter and the rest of the apostles heard that the stone was ripped away, all of them ran to the tomb. Seeking to see the face of Jesus Christ. As they were running to the door, they had the view that they would see Jesus Christ. In the Bible, also, we had many people that were tormented by the devil, that were sick, that were in need. And they ran to Jesus Christ for healing. The hemorrhage woman ran to Jesus Christ. Zacchaeus ran to Jesus Christ. The blind Bartimaeus ran to Jesus Christ. The ten lepers ran to Jesus Christ. The Roman centurion who said, Lord, I'm not worthy to have you under my roof. He ran to Jesus Christ. And all these people we are healed. The message of the resurrection, the message of hope, message of trust, message of faith. And we are all called to run to Jesus Christ. It is an open invitation. There are no conditions, no strings attached. Jesus wants you to come to him. Just as you are. Don't hold back or don't think that you are not worthy. Maybe you have stopped coming to the church. 
for a long time. Because of one pain or another, Jesus Christ was you. Maybe you have stopped loving because someone hurt you in the past. Jesus Christ wants you to love again. And He wants you to come to the church so that you see His face every time. Maybe you don't want to forgive again because someone betrayed your trust. Christ wants you to forgive once more. Because on the cross He said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. When we run to Him, these bad stones in our lives will be rolled away. And when they are rolled away, Jesus Christ will come into our life and will live in our lives permanently. And the light of God in us will begin to shine wherever we go. Our words and our action will be the great testimony of the risen God. May we love our Lord Jesus Christ. The past things in our lives will go the way. The true light will begin to shine. And we will be happy as we celebrate the resurrected love. The sun shall rise across the river. Where we'll never be unhappy. Yeah.